Even the top achievers that you know are headed in a different direction, they will stay longer because they recognize that I've got somebody here as a leader who cares about me, who's got my best interests. One of the things Cutco does great is they're so phenomenal at showing appreciation. They're working with purpose. They're showing up to their day excited. It's getting people to think differently about what the purpose of work is. The true work of an organization should be to better the lives of the people that work there. That, that's such a counter attitude that most people have, as you said, that you know, it's the fear of, you know, if I, if, if I empower this person and it, it could be, you know, any level of staff or, you know, in, in our, our industry and in, in dentistry, uh, oftentimes uh, business owners are, will look for an associate doctor to come in and, and, you know, help provide care and take some of the load off and maybe let them expand the clinic if, if they want to do that. Uh, but there's, there's a, a fear that, you know, if I, if I help this doctor, this younger doctor, typically uh, to become better, not just in maybe clinical procedures, but maybe in, in leadership or communication skills. I mean, all, all the soft skills that are so important today mm -hmm. that, that that person's going to leave and go on their own. To your point, look, you, you, we, we can't put a glass ceiling on people uh, be, because, again, then you're going to have that, that passive person who's like, doesn't feel like they're, they're going to grow. There's no nowhere for them to go. I mean, what are they going to be doing in your business your, or your practice uh, to to make any significant difference? Well, they're not. They're going to get burned out and they're going to, they're going to look for something else. I mean, so why not engage your people uh, as long as they're going to be with you? And some will be lifers for sure because they don't have aspirations to go bigger. Uh, but those that do, you know what? Let them spread their wings. And while they're with you, to your point, uh, they're going to be very engaged, uh, have a lot of energy, a lot of inspiration for everybody else. And gosh, that's what we want. That's the culture we, we really want in our businesses. And they, and what I also find with that too is like, so we operate, I've, I've chosen to, to operate from this like core belief of everybody is temporary. And I've been at an organization for 19 years. I'm still temporary at some point mm -hmm. I'm going to leave. And I look at, you know, my relationship with my wife that way, right? And so in the reason, it's not out of a fear base, but it's out of a, well, I want to make sure I'm constantly courting my wife. Yes. Right? Because that's going to lead to a better relationship anyways. I want to constantly be recruiting, not new people. I want to be recruiting the people who are currently on my team, because that is going to lead to them being here longer. And I've seen that even the top achievers that you know are headed in a different direction, they will stay longer because they recognize that, I've got somebody here as a leader who cares about me, who's got my best interests, you know, in, in the main focus and, uh, and are really, you know, this is a unique thing. Yes. No, yeah, no doubt about it. Let's talk about on the attract side. So this is not someone who's currently uh, in, in our, in our culture, but we're looking to, to add somebody, some pe a person. So today, again, with the labor shortage uh, and the fact that people do have more choices, Oftentimes, we think, many times business owners think that, well, it's an, it's an auction system for sure out there. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to have, have to, the word have to, you know, pay more. Maybe they're signing bonuses today, mm -hmm. I have to pay, maybe I have to pay a recruiter. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, so help us see the light through how we, how it's still an investment. I, it's investment. You're investing in people. Um, so yeah. again, if you have that, that turnstile, doesn't matter. You're, 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 your cost has gone way up. So rec recruiting, attracting. So how do we attract people with the idea of investing in them and their dreams and the dream list before they've actually onboarded with us? How can we use attraction for them to see and have, have some idea about what our culture is, assuming we have a good one uh, yep. that they might be attracted to? So I think, you know, to, to get to the answer to that, I think part of it is, is, making sure that your business culture, your culture, your current program is, is there so that you can then advertise it. And, you know, when, when we have a labor shortage, what does that mean is that the, the average employee has tons of options. Yep. And so what's going to stand out, it's something that's unique and something that's different. And yes, a couple extra thousand dollars may be, you know, nice, but is that going to be the thing that somebody is like, you know, curious about? And so, um, I think being able to advertise that your culture is unique and here's why it's unique. Uh, I don't know anybody who, who has a negative feeling when they hear the word dream, right? And so if somebody were to say, hey, just so you know a little bit about the culture around our organization, we're centered 100% about people living the, the life of their dreams. I know that might sound a little out there, a little floofy, but to give you an idea, uh, over in the you know other, other room there, we've got an example of, of uh, everybody who works here. They've got 10 things that they're trying to get done this year that are on their dreams list. Um, we, we give out dream bonuses 
you know, at uh, twice a year that people are able to earn some money towards accomplishing something on their dreams list. And uh, people also have, uh, you know, normal vacation time of X amount, but we also here, we give them extra bonus one week of dream vacation time. And that's meant for them to accomplish something that's on their dreams. That kind of stuff, it, it, it's all it is an extra week of vacation. But when you say it's a dream vacation, it's mm. them spending their own money on it. But it's just, it's getting people to think differently about what the purpose of work is. I believe, like I said, everybody's temporary. I also believe that they, the true you know, work of an organization should be to better the lives of the people that work there. Yes. And, and this is a way to do that is to get somebody thinking anything's possible. What would get me alive this year? You know, especially with this pandemic. I think one of the keys that you've already brought up is, is the specificity of, of, the, of the dream list. Instead of just having a conventional, traditional profit share bonus plan, that you know, here's the money. Oh, oh by the way, it, it'll it'll come through your your next you know payroll right. check, and 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 in the government will take their deduction. I mean, that that just what does that do for you? I mean, really nothing. I mean, I mean, it's just extra money that's in the bank, and then you know who knows what happens to that. But when you've actually tied it to something that, that's on their list, and they get to experience it, they actually went and experienced what they wanted. Uh, the the benefit is, is 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 it's just is amazing. It's huge. So that specificity is is a key part. Of, of why, why they have the dream list. And, and people just, you know, we remember experiences and, and you're totally right. Extra thousand dollars that goes on, that feels nice in the moment, but we don't remember that, mm -hmm. right? When somebody's thinking about their time spent at a certain company, they're not like, oh, this one time or this other time I got a little bonus, but they do remember the vacations. They remember the, you know what, super weird, but uh, I had on my list. And this, this is one that I've done with people on our team. We're all I'll, I love looking at people's dreams lists. I think it's, it is such a unique thing if they allow you to do it. And as I go through, I'll find, I usually look for some health ones. And, you know, let's say that uh, you have a small team of individuals in, in, your, in your organization and you look and you see somebody who has a Tough mutter that's on there. Well, it's an easy Google search, Tough mutter Chicago, right? If that's where your business is at. And it's like, oh, we've got one coming here in August. Hey, Sue, I was looking over your dreams list and I saw that you had on there Tough mutter. Would you be open to trying to, it's going to be here in September. I did a little bit of research. I would love to match, right? Like to split the entrance fee with you. Entrance fees in there are a hundred bucks. If I'm an mm. employer, I spend $50 on so much stuff that I never even recognize. Right. But to be able to say, I'll pay the whole thing. I like to say, I'll match your investment. So I, I'll split that with you if you want to sign up for it. Well, what happens is that person now is focused on their health for three months leading up to that. That brings extra energy to it to work. They thank you as though you did all of this work. And really all you did was find something on their list and spend 50 bucks on it. So there's little things like that. That could also end up being a couple people on the team that do it. Um, vacations I've done where somebody says, hey, I'm going to blank with the family and I'll look at their dreams list. And if there's something on there that is around that area, you know, I'll, I'll see if there's something that I can easily spend a couple hundred dollars on, but has a massive impact for them. That's, that's so good. So I know we don't have time to go into great detail today, but I know it, it, in the book that you'll help uh, business owners describe. So you've talked about some, some, some smaller, you know, easy to do, pay half the entrance fee, uh, a little add on here, there, which, which pretty much, you know, you can roll those out here and there. And, and that's just, I thought no brainer for business owner. Yeah. What, what about some of the bigger items on the dream list? Is, is there a way that you help business owners kind of figure out um, based on, achievement uh, milestones that an employees uh, met like in the practice in terms of their growth and their maybe training or they've got extra skill sets to to align with something that might be bigger uh, in terms of, 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 a, of a dream list uh, you know add-on absolutely you know I think for a sales organization it's a little easier because there's benchmarks yeah. and you hit it and then you're so in that scenario yeah I think it, it, it makes so much sense for a business to say when you achieve this you've now earned a instead of a $500, $1,000, $1,500, it's, you get a $1,000 trip. Yeah. And we're not just going to give you the money, but we're going to book the tickets, right? Or something like that. I think if it's in a non, you know, commission-based thing, it could be tenure. And it could be, hey, once you, you know, at your five-year mark, you mm -hmm. don't get some like box of steaks. Right. But, but we send you on a very memorable trip and we figure out how to make this a dream trip. You know, one of the things Cutco does great is they're so phenomenal at showing appreciation. Mm. Again, I think it's a little easier when it's a sales organization. Mm. Um, but
but they they do different things where milestones when you hit a certain mark you get to go on they call it a hall of fame trip and they give you money for it but i still remember mine was to thailand and i don't remember the, the five grand they gave me but i remember that trip like it was yesterday so does my wife and how amazing that was and it was you know it didn't just give me enjoyment on that trip it gave me enjoyment planning it it gave me enjoyment the year leading up to it where i was like i'm about to hit that here it comes. So the, the idea with this, it's the same feeling that David, if you've got a trip in the schedule with your wife, right, or your or you know your your significant other, your family, or whatever, even a solo trip, it's not just the trip that gives you the enjoyment. It's the planning of it. It's the month leading up to it. It's the anticipation. And so imagine if not only we, but everybody that was on our team had something in the calendar once every month or two months. It's they're never just going year to year, but they're working with purpose. They're showing up to their day excited. And, and that has such a, you know, you can't put it on your bottom line, right? We can't measure it no. necessarily, but you can feel it yes. when those people show up to your, you know, to, to work each day. Well, that's a huge benefit benefit for the owner entrepreneur of the business. When, when you get to show up to a culture that's yeah. uh, upbeat, energized versus uh, walking into a walking the front door or the back door and finding, you know, it's, 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 it's problems. It's problem centric. It's well, that, that takes your joy out of it. I and mean, we should all be in our workplace, you know, you know, having joy out of it. I think, I think that's a key. And, and so, so much of life has been that that's not the way it can be. And you just, you right. have to mar martyr down and it's like, no, that's not going to work. So let's, so with the book, I, you know, and I, and I love books um, because that's a starting point with a new idea, a new concept. Um, how would you, let's just say someone's, uh, someone's going to read the book. Uh, what should they be able to do and implement after reading the book? Uh, what are some easy, quick action steps that might come out of reading the book? Just to give our listeners a little bit of, okay, here's what I might be able to do with this and, and, and get some quick wins. Yeah, great question. So I think the, the first, one of the, one of the really important things is that the leader has to be willing to do this themselves, right? So it's, it's kind of, it's living life out loud. And to me, that's the fun part. I feel obligated to live the life of my dreams because that's what I preach to my team. Um, it also gives the business owner permission to talk openly about the trip they took or that in, you know investment that they made. For me, when I was a, a business owner prior to this, if I took a vacation or something else, I was a little hush hush about it because I knew that the people that are on my team maybe didn't they didn't have the same financial opportunity that I did or the flexibility, so I mm -hmm. wouldn't talk about those. But now that we're encouraging everybody to accomplish their dreams. It was actually my duty to say, hey, I just want everybody to know I'm going to be taking a trip coming up. It's on my dreams list. And people wouldn't resent it. They would celebrate it. So I think number one is that the leader has to, has to practice this themselves. So really, it starts with creating their own dreams list. Uh, when somebody buys the book, um, they're going to get access to a master list of like a, a thousand plus dreams kind of a, the biggest menu that somebody could pick from and then they can you know highlight and steal the ones that they want to start their own we're also doing a uh, dreamstorming workshop dreamstorming is kind of that first like process of creating the list i do this within businesses but a, as part of the launch of the book we're doing uh, anybody who purchases three copies gets a free ticket to an online one which will be about three hours in the middle of october and that's a great place for a business owner to show up do it themselves. Mm. And then really from getting the book and attending that, they should be, they should feel confident being able to, you know, take their team members through this, this rollout of the dreams process. And even if they just start with that and they don't do all the other stuff that's in the book, they've already made some big wins sure. in the concept to their team. Yeah, no, I love that. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to buy three books just so I can do that because I'd love to be, again, like you said, the leader's got to do it first. You've got to, you've got to buy into it. You've got to understand it because that's, that's going to give you the excitement uh, to take your team. And, and that's a fun thing to do. So uh, we can, we can order the book uh, at dreammachine.com or is it dream? Uh, the dream machine book.com. Book.com. Yes. Yep. Okay. Dream. So dream machine book.com is where you can order the book. You can order one or you can order uh, several copies. You've got some different, different levels of, of, of additional yeah. bonuses that people can, can have, but look, go get at least one. Uh, but I, I'd say if you're a leader who's thinking about, hey, how can I improve the culture? I think the workshop would be a, an amazing place to go because, look, 
I can read a book, but I love to have someone helping me implement. Uh, yeah. I'm just a whole lot better with someone who's done it to take me through the process. Uh, it's a lot of brain damage for me to take a concept that I go, well, this is great, but gosh, could someone just walk me through it one time? And then it's like, it's a, it's a whole difference. Um, okay, so this is great. So we'll put these uh, links in the show notes. Uh, you can again, reach or find Dane at his personal website or business website, which is daneespigard.com. And I spelled that earlier, so we'll have that there. And then the uh, dreammachinebook.com is where people can go and actually order the book, which will be out and in, uh, in their hands uh, if they order now uh, in just a little over a um, week or 10 days. I mean, we're that, we're that close. So really exciting stuff, Dane. Thank you so much for being here today. I think, again, as I said earlier on our beginning of the call today, that this is, this is an era in which we as business owners, if we want to continue to not just survive, but thrive. Uh, we've got to focus on this. And it's it's like anything in life, we, we have to be intentional about it. And you really have the roadmap or the blueprint on how to do it. So thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I enjoyed the conversation. If you enjoyed watching or learning from this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. If you have a question about any of my content or this specific video, just please leave a comment down below. And as always, stay focused on your freedom. I'll see you next time.